Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about variables and data types in C++. So let's start off by making a simple program. We'll have a include IO stream, and then we'll have an int main. Okay, so we'll make a simple Boolean. So with variables in C++, you have to declare the variable type and then the name of your variable and then set it equal to what you want that variable to be. So you have my bool equals to true, for example, and then I have an int, my int equals one, and I could have a double. So int is just anything that, you know, is a whole number. Uh, you could have a my double, I could do like, my double equals 2.1, so it's any number with decimal places, and then I can have a char, which is a character, like a letter or something. I'm gonna use K, for example. So that would be a char character, okay? So these are some of the more common types that you'll see, and one thing to distinguish between the different ones is based on how many bytes uh, each data type has. Okay, so you'll see these a lot. Uh, here's some more extensive lists of the more uh, different types that you might see. So you see there's typically four categories. So you have um, one byte, two bytes, four bytes, and eight bytes. So one byte, you see you have uh, booleans, you have char, um, you have 8T, so this is saying that there's only 8 bits. You have an unsigned char, you have a signed char. So unsigned, we'll see later on what that means. But basically, signed and unsigned just means that for unsigned is if it's you know positive or negative. Signed is for positive. And this will allow the range to be greater or less. Okay, and then you can see for two bytes, we have things like a short, we have a char 16. 16 because it's um, 8 times 2, you got 16 bits. And then you have an unsigned short. And then these, I don't really use these too much. And then we have 4 bytes, so you have char 32, you have 8 times 32, 8 times 4, so you get 32. You get a float, int, unsigned int, long, unsigned long. And then for eight bytes, which is the biggest size you'll have, it's going to have a double. You can have an int 64. And again, 64 is going to come from eight times eight. And then you have a long double, long, long, or unsigned long, long. So based on, especially when you're de designing games or anything that's like very memory intensive, um, these size of bytes really matter. And you typically want to choose the minimum byte size to represent your data accurately. So there's no point choosing a double when you could suffi sufficiently describe your data with a short, okay? So here's a table of all the different range of values for the different types you have. So let's just take a, like, take a look at int, for example, right? So int is four bytes. So if I take a look at my calculator, you can see that, um, if I do two, uh, two to the 32, because four times eight is 32. So two to 32 is uh, four billion, right? And then if I divide that by two, you get two, one, four, seven, four, eight, three, six, four, eight. So that's where they get this number from. And basically they sp split it half and half. So half of it is negative numbers, the other half is positive numbers. So that's why it's assigned. And then when you look at the unsigned, it's going to go from 0 to the whole value. So it won't be split positive, negative, just all positive. And the same idea applies to all these other ones. Um, you could So you could go off of this list, and you could determine you know, what is the appropriate data type for the type of um, number you're trying to store, or you know just any arbitrary data you're trying to store, and then choose the one that best suits your memory purposes. Since when you're using C++, memory is very important since it's for like low level applications typically. And you're dealing with memory, especially if you play with like Arduino or any sort of hardware, okay? So that wraps up the summary for data types and variables in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.